Hi everybody, Jake here at DMAX Store again, and today we're going to be looking at our oil filters and see how they stack up against some of the biggest competitors in the industry. So we're going to start off with our standard 2001 to 2019 GM 6.6 .6 liter Duramax oil filter, and we're going to compare that to this one here. And right off the bat, you can notice a couple differences. Uh, the first one is going to be this coil spring. So these coil springs are a little bit more expensive to manufacture, but they have a more reliable seal so that's going to hold the filter element in tight inside the canister. Where this leaf spring, it's a lot cheaper to make, it's a lot flimsier. So I mean, it's just something that's not gonna be as good of a hold to keep the whole filter together. In addition to that, uh, there's no seal in between this leaf spring and this, it's just a metal to metal seal, and that's where the bypass is integrated. So on this one, it's kind of a one piece design made with some plastic, so kind of a little bit cheaper option to go than we actually have this integrated. The bypass is right here, as you can see, so just a little bit nicer, cleaner setup on the stamp seal end caps here. So really nice filter. We also have the filter media. That's gonna be a little bit different than this one here. So you can see this is a cellulose paper type media and we have this metal crimp holding it together instead of glue. So there's no messy stuff uh, on any of these edges here. As you can see, it's a super clean design, really good QC on these filters. Now this one uses a synthetic filter media, so it's a little bit different. Um, they do have a pretty big gap here in between each pleat and just kind of glue everywhere and a little bit messier. So not really ideal. I mean, this is still a good filter for all you guys who want to run these, but it's just not as clean as the one that we manufactured. So those are a couple differences there. And this also has twice as many pleats. So this has 70 pleats and this has 35. So you're gonna get a lot more actual filter media out of this filter, even though it's the same size as this one. It's just gonna be a really nice oil filter overall. And if you really wanna step up your game, go ahead and check out our extended oil filter. That's almost twice the size as this one and with 70 pleats as well. So you get a lot more filter media than you do with this one. We're gonna move on to the spin-on filters for the Allison transmission. Here you can see we have our Allison spin-on transmission filters here. Here's our standard filter and our extended one. This one's gonna be for the guys who want a little bit more filtration and have a deep sump pan. It's gonna hang a little bit lower than the standard one. That's why these are so small. But I mean, this is a really good option for those guys who are pushing their trucks to the limit and want a little bit more filtration. So when we take the tops off of these, after we cut them open, you can see that this one again has a leaf style spring. This is just one of our popular filters that um, is on the market. And again, went with a coil spring. We've got the coil spring in every single one of our filters because we didn't really want to hold back and pinch pennies with this. We wanted to make a quality filter for you guys. So we've got the coil spring here versus the leaf spring. And then you can see the filter media. It's a similar filter media. So both of these are going to be a cellulose paper design. Um, but again, you can see all the glue here kind of holding the pleats together where it comes together at the end. And ours, we have again, that metal crimp again, found in all of our filters, whether it's engine or transmission oil and just a really tight, consistent spacing between all of them. So a really nice filter overall. And then we're gonna go ahead and the same thing for this extended one. You're get looking at pretty much the same filter type. These are gonna be filtered to about 30 microns for the Allison spin-on, um, which is gonna be equivalent to the, Alice, the standard factory Allison filter as well. So you don't really need to go more than that. It's, it's gonna catch all the dirt and debris that's gonna go through your Allison transmission. And moving on to our 2020 oil filter. So I know a lot of those guys want to run the larger oil cooler from the 2020 trucks and you want to run our Maxflow oil cooler upgrade kit. And this is going to be the filter for you guys. So it's going to be a direct replacement. It'll come with our kits now. So it's going to have again the coil spring, it has an integrated bypass in here, and then the same filter media. It's going to be up to a five micron. And so it's just a really nice cellulose paper filter media. And we're going to compare it to one of the standards here so again you have this leaf spring with this plastic bypass so i mean kind of a cheaper design again just a little bit flimsier and not as well built as these coil springs so again this is a little bit more expensive to make but we really didn't want to hold anything back we wanted to give you guys the best filters possible because we know it's important to keep those duramaxes running right so i mean you see again just the quality on, in the, the glue here you can see it's just balloon it all over here and glue everywhere just not quite as clean as our filters. It's very consistent across all the filters here. None of them really have glue spattered up on here. There's no fingerprints on there. There's no dirt on these filters when they're in the canister. And we, we've cut open a lot of our filters to verify this. And we really did our research to make sure we get a good filter media with the cellulose paper media. 
and then also have a good manufacturer that's going to be able to get these to a quality that we like. And another thing I know a lot of you guys have been asking, what are the details and specs of these filters? So all of our engine oil filters are going to be the same. They're going to be a 5 micron and they're up to 97.5% efficient. And they also are going to have a burst pressure of over 200 PSI. So really not going to have any issues there. If you check your oil pressure, obviously it's not going to hit 200. So if you got bigger problems, if you get to there. So these oil filters are going to hold up. We do still recommend a 5,000 mile interval as the oil just tends to break down by then. So just keeping fresh fluids and good filters on your truck is gonna be really important. And on the center of all of our filters here, you can see we have a spiral core here that is perforated with uh, large holes. So it's gonna have a lot better flow. And it's gonna be metal, so it's gonna be a really sturdy filter, which is nice. And then we do have the NBR rubber on all surfaces here. So it's on the drain back valve and on all the seals here. So it's gonna be easy to put on and off, which is gonna be really nice for uh, servicing your truck. We also feature a large nut on the end of every single one of our filters here. So it's gonna be really easy to get this off after it's been on there for 5,000 miles or whatnot. So you're gonna be all set to go when you're servicing your truck. These filters are finally available to you guys. So go ahead and check them out on dmaxstore.com. Click the link in our bio if you guys see this on Instagram. If you're on YouTube, go ahead and check the comments below and we'll have the link right to all these oil filters. Go ahead and get your transmission and engine set up right with DMAX Store Performance Oil Filters. <laughs>